What's going on, Doombots? Tony Skinjili here in a t-shirt to discuss a new event and the new characters that come with it and some old characters that got reworked or just one. And that is the Incredibles event. And Incredibles being a team of downtown heroes that at first pass look incredibly powerful. Before I go into details about the event, as you kind of figured out now, these are going to always going to be two part videos, one where I describe the event and what it's going to take and where I think you should go. Uh, and the other is going to go into the characters and where I'd put them, how I'd rate them. For the first part, I just want to remind you or tell you if you've never heard in DSA, the game is not about who you can get. It's about who you can finish. And that means any character at unlock is fun and great but you really can't get the most out of any team especially in a competitive environment or to scale up as you're fighting in pvp or club war until you can make sure you can target them to the highest level you can which of course would be six or seven star gear tier six or seven that kind of thing so keep that in mind as we discuss this team and all of the potential awesome things it can do if you aren't capable of making them very, very strong or getting enough stars that as you level and progress, the gear and the level will be the only things holding them back, you're going to notice they will fall off relatively quickly, especially when compared to some of the more meta characters and teams that are capable of being completed. That said, going straight into the event, this is a huge event. There are four brand new characters added to the game with one major rework. Uh, this event is going to be the main way to immediately unlock Mr. Incredible as well as Violet. Uh, the chase or slightly harder to get characters are Dash, who is truly amazing, and Jack-Jack, who is truly adorable. Let's take a quick look at the event and what it's going to take. First part of the event is Security Breach, in which you do not require a single thing until Stage 2. The first two events, uh, which will give you pretty decent amount of incredible tokens and a little bit higher, obviously, as you progress. By this point, you're familiar with the way the events work. But the first two have no requirements, just one star and two star any character you find. That's totally reasonable and for the first day of the event going to be incredibly helpful whenever you start it because you can just complete those two tasks with whoever you have laying around once you get to the third and fourth and you know the rest of the events you will require a elastigirl at a certain level up to this point elastigirl has been i don't want to say lackluster but incomplete she didn't even have her passive or her leadership ability visible because her team wasn't around so as a part of uh, how glue seems to be continuously updating characters to make them better it's it's important to recognize that maybe a character wasn't great at one point but at any time with the right rework and the right effort any team can become better so you probably have at least an unlocked elastigirl it's not very reasonable to imagine most people invested too much into her early, so there are some offers or the ability to refresh the node if you need to get a little bit more so you can start pushing for additional shards as you need them. They also come with a little bit of super coins, which unlike other events are a little bit more randomized than what you get, but they're all possible. So. I would say a really good point for the average player, especially on the first pass, uh, especially since Elastigirl hasn't been great up until this event, would be probably the third event. This will be a reasonable stop point for any player who doesn't intend on uh, spending a lot of money or spending a lot of their stored resources to unlock all of the characters in this team. If you are, then this conversation doesn't really matter. You'll go as far as you need to, obviously. But once you get to about the three star point, maybe the four, you're going to be getting a decent chunk of incredible tokens every day. And he should probably be able to get to, as we've said before, two or three being the sweet spot for most of these event characters. If you're just looking to progress and build out a team over time, these events are again, not too difficult at every stage. A lot of times the recommendation is a little bit over what you can accomplish. And especially since the requirement is only 
Elastigirl at whatever star and the rest of the characters that you've been working on, like maybe the Kingdom team or the downtown villains, can easily be subbed in, you should have no problem. As we go on to the next event, Fight or Flight, where you use the Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl shards previously obtained to work on Violet, you start seeing that the characters you've been working on probably are going to need to carry a little bit more. So. The first event only requires Mr. Incredible at one, easy enough to unlock by playing the first two, three nodes. So you shouldn't have too much of an issue. And just like in the previous one, once you get to the three star event and on, you require both Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl. Seems fine. The amount of character shards you get for completing it for the first time is pretty static along the line. So you will get close to an unlock, but the higher you can get, Obviously, the more shards you'll have access to. Uh, the gear kind of is a nice little tag that goes along with it to help you invest in the characters to be able to progress a little more. But just like I said before, if you're just kind of looking to play and have fun and, and experience this team, not necessarily go crazy on them, then getting to about three is probably your goal by the end of the event and maybe even a couple of days to spare so you can probably sure up that three star violet. The last event, uh, this one is a little bit different than the previous ones uh, in that you don't even get Jack-Jack shards until you can have a six star team. So it's clearly designed to be not only a multi-pass event like some of the other ones, uh, but this is clearly designed to give you specific components of the team over multiple passes, unless of course you decide you want to spend, which is fine because, as I said earlier, if you're not going to build your team almost completely, then it's better to have a weaker version of it and not invest your time and resources into those characters and build them as time progresses, as opposed to putting a lot of energy and effort into four star characters or three star characters like people did maybe with the Onward team, which helped for a while, but immediately became outscaled when five and six star characters available in exchanges and everyday node farms became stronger over time. Uh, if you are capable of pushing to at least this event early, that's when you can start getting your guaranteed Jack Jack shards and He's the fifth and, and kind of most unique member of the team. Again, that's for part two of this video, but for now we're focusing exclusively on getting dash tokens. Now, as you can see, I've gotten quite a bit and that came from just refreshing enough on the first day to get to point four. I am going to probably have a little bit of difficulty getting to five star on all of these characters over the next couple of days but I think at by the end of it I should be able to get maybe a little bit more and at least the super coins kind of feed a little bit more into both the dash who I'm trying to unlock on first pass as well as the rest of the characters for the event uh, this event much like previous events you've seen Jafar Aladdin requires all of the characters you've received up to the point and starts at a specific star level a little bit higher. This is a two star, two star, three star, and four star event. So if you as a player can get to about three stars on these characters, you should have enough time and energy to be able to farm all of the nodes, get pretty much all of the super coins you can over the couple of days, and maybe even make a little bit of effort towards the four star event if you're lucky. Anyone else pushing past that is going to have a better and more realistic chance at getting Jack-Jack shards, but even in completing these events, you aren't guaranteed any Jack-Jack shards. You are gonna have to get a little bit lucky and pull them from super coins. That's it for the nodes. Going into the super coins themselves, this is not one of the better uh, random RNG orbs. Now overall, and I don't know if I've ever said this before, I'm a big fan of these orbs. I like, even though the number is, is kind of strange, I do like the fact that you have a guaranteed number of them per day. I kind of wish that guaranteed number went up a little bit. I think the average player shouldn't have to panic after they've farmed the first node four times or for two days 
that they're not going to get any more of these chests since the chests are functionally rng i don't think it hurts people by giving them more access to them that's just my opinion yours may vary uh you're guaranteed to get between one and ten dash tokens that's not unusual that's something you tend to see in these events and some number of gold and level of potions no big deal what kind of weirds me out a little bit is the chance and how many characters you have a chance to get tokens on so there is no way right now to guarantee yourself jack jack tokens you could technically open all of these and spend money and buy more of these and open them and never ever pull jack jack tokens is it likely no is it possible well i've opened quite a bit as you can see and i have 17 jack jack tokens out of 80. even if i were to complete all of the events based on the 10 or so of these orbs i've opened already and only pulled 17 jack jack shards it's possible that i don't get even close to 80. so because that level of rng exists in these orbs i think these are one of the worst orbs or orbs or rng gotchas whatever you want to call them chests that they've ever put out uh i would prefer if these were guaranteed and the chance was what the number is so you are always going to get at least one of every character like they've done in some of the previous ones so i don't have to worry about whether or not i might get one or zero mr incredible shards a character who of course is important for progressing in the event i don't mind the idea of self-sustaining events i have a little bit of an issue with events that don't even sustain themselves this seems like a miss so i hope glue in the future understands that when you put rng in any kind of purchasable item there needs to be a pretty clear low level as to what you're going to get when you spend or some people may feel taken advantage of and ultimately not make those purchases now or ever again that said i don't think this is the worst uh gotcha chest i've ever seen i just think it's the worst one they have ever put out regarding events would i buy these i did i regret it so giving you that little piece of information if there was a chance uh that of getting a different number of shards i probably wouldn't have cared as much i wouldn't mind giving them more money to make sure i get the number of things i want for that really is not how it worked out ultimately that's it as far as the event itself is concerned now in part two of this video which i will link somewhere around here uh, you'll be able to see a little bit about the team my assessment of them what i think where i think they're going to be useful and most importantly how well you should invest in them how important this event should be to you and if you're not willing to get them to five six or seven star on this pass whether or not it's even worth any amount of effort to even get the characters unlocked this early. Either way, that's coming up soon. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment below and let me know what you think about this event and if it could be a little bit better or if I'm being unreasonable and it's absolutely perfect. Either way, I want you guys to have a good night, have a great day, and check out part two where I talk about the Incredibles team.